as I was gluing some boards together and yesterday was Christmas and uh, the supposed perfect human Jesus which I believe was a last Neanderthal that was hunted and killed to cleanse the race and therefore Christianity is a great cleansing and his death was cleansing so maybe they an interpretation they messed up the interpretation or even the people that wrote it was like yeah what'd you say I heard that wrong or you know you know if, if there was any truth you know I'm pretty sure that it's scattered truth and some folk tale some third person story it's not a you know it's easy to believe that I'm not I don't believe in any of the stuff that uh you know all the fairy tale stuff like walking on water I believe he was maybe slacklining on some fishing nets they were tied across the water you know I know they probably just threw a but you know if he was like the peak freaking uh, intelligence then he would have known how to make bigger fishing nets and stuff like that and uh, instead of just throw nets which is what you know who knows 2,000 years ago what kind of fishing nets they used if they was commercial fishermen then they probably came up with the idea to have bigger bigger rope and bigger nets they catch more fish and so he slacklined across a rope from boat to boat or hit a sand island or whatever. And somebody on the shore said, oh, look at that guy. He's walking on water, not knowing that he's, you know, whatever he's doing, was doing. But I don't believe in all that mumbo jumbo phony stuff, you know, all the, I don't know. I don't know why that, but, you know, is there any historical truth to that, to it? In all folk tales and everything, there's some truth. You know, you got to pick it out. I mean, you, you're talking about whatever fairy tales. It could end up being talking uh, uh, talking about people that had tails. You know, there was you know, there's people that have the, the what an elongated uh, spine that ends up looking like a tail. So you know, it's it all comes down to you know what's the real depth of the story and. I'm not saying there's people, little freaking gnats flying around. Of course, people hallucinating if they was doing opium back then or whatever, or just basically they could have been hallucinating from uh, hunger or thirst or exhaustion. Because if they was work like slaves, then they'd be exhausted and they'd they'd have they'd be uh, hallucinating from just pure exhaustion. Anyway, no talking about that. Talking about the uh, genocide of the Neanderthals by the human race. Uh, whether uh, Neanderthals were raping and people say, oh, they were just crossbreeding with uh, the Devon, Devon, whatever they call, there's some D, some, some race in between the Neanderthals that were supposedly in between Neanderthal. And I'm just saying, I'm figuring it's just crossbreeds uh, you know, uh, and then those crossbreeds started migrating, and they figure in the science, you know, 50,000 years later, go, oh, this is a whole new race from, you know, I don't believe in the evolution. I believe in a thought creates uh, change in the embryo, not the, uh, there's not, I mean, environment, sure, and, and, but basically it's the evolution of thought is what creates the uh, upgrading and I'm pretty sure it's if you uh, if you remember the you know people uh, some stars when they're teen idols or whatever it is like the last one I remember that there there was a big uh, a breeding stock that I think it was Britney Spears and all of a sudden BAM on the scene came a bunch of babies born and then Years later, they all look like, you know, they look like Britney Spears. And then they go, oh, wait, I don't want to look like her, you know, and then they start changing their ways. But anyway, I think that how that's how it is through time. There's something great. Everybody tries to breed to look like it or be like it. Maybe it's third-person story, fourth-person story, or however, however it gets. But that's how I believe that everything uh, 
evolved animals and everything. I, I believe, you know, like lions were actually protoceratops, you know, and they, they whether they were uh, fruit eaters or, you know, sugar cane or whatever it was, the protoceratops, they, they could have been scavengers. You know, people say, oh, they're plant eaters because of their, but their beaks are kind of like a vulture beak. So they might have, they might have just gone through and everything died. They just ate everything dead, you know, after a, just eating whatever they was in their way. There was no a moral uh, dilemma of being judged by other dinosaurs. You know, oh, geez, look at that protoceratops over there eating that scavenged freaking, that's horrible, brontosaurus said to another brontosaurus. Do you see that? They're, they don't like leaves or something, you know. Why are they eating that, that dead flesh? Anyway, so what I believe is uh, Neanderthals were hunted down, killed, not necessarily uh maybe in Matt maybe they you know maybe they hunted down stuff maybe Neanderthal hunted down uh, every evolved uh every evolved species of the human race at once they evolved once they had a mass uh evolve you know a mass breeding birth of people they were all basically thinking the same or looking the same or you know had the same idea then after they start breeding, you know, and expanding, then they was trying to get rid of anything that was less than them. You know, like, uh, I mean, people think of animals as nothing. So it's speciesism. And I believe religion is basically based on speciesism. Uh, only it's, it's actually new compared, you know, if it was prehistoric and they wouldn't write about how they went about killing the last species like say Neanderthal killing off whatever whatever species that they uh, you know was the the one before them they'd they'd hunt them down if they seen them maybe not and then as time evolved uh, maybe there was a consciousness of tribes that hey we don't you know we're not gonna you know after they they got into uh, what Neolithics maybe it's, you know they be there became a consciousness that said, uh, well, we don't want to, you know, somewhere along the line, there was a consciousness that said, I mean, it's still, there's still war. So there's no con. I mean, basically there isn't a consciousness except in the social, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what a social conception is that there's, there should be a morality, but then they just, they just allow, you know, people say, well, war is war, and that happens, and, you know, people this and that, and, you know, they, they, allowance, maybe, uh, maybe immoral allowance is somewhat allowed, and are we working toward a, where there's only a more, there is, will be no, uh, immoral allowance, and everything, <clears throat> or breaking, I don't know how that's going to happen, because they have, you know, some grisly crimes, and rapes, and, I mean, it, the government's allowing abortion, and they're trying to say how, you know, they're the greatest government. And how, how can you be a great government if you allow abortion and you don't say, hey, you know, you don't say other ways of saying, you know, find, you know, do something else. There's all the stuff you could do. And, of course, they're poor people. And so what do they got? They got uh, their body is all they got. They don't got no money. So they go and have sex. So anyway, I'm not, I, it's neither here nor there why people do stupid stuff. You know, it's if you have nothing, why create? something that's going to be born into your nothingness, you know, and, and as far as nothingness, I'm thinking nothingness is the purity of space that hasn't been invaded by, uh, thought or light or, uh, even though I believe light was, uh, like an effervescent, not an effervescent, but a, a luminescent constant. It didn't need sun. And then everything was basically, it was a luminescent and that stuff, and yeah, I'm not going to get it. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking of uh, if Jesus was the last Neanderthal, and say uh, I don't know I don't know what they call Judaism. All I know is it's it's a bu uh, Christianity is a bunch of stuff gathered together from like uh, different religions that are thrown together in this one. It's like it's like they borrowed. Uh, but anyway. The only thing I know about uh, 
Jewish religion is they cut, you know, they have a, they had a precise way of cutting the throat of an animal. They say it's a slow drag. You can't, you can't have, you have to have a knife so sharp that if it, uh, kosher, you have to you have to slice the neck in one stroke. You can't stop. You can't hack. It's just a slow and steady pull across the neck of an animal. And if it drags at all, it's not kosher. It has to be a perfectly smooth cut all the way across. Otherwise, they consider it a non-kosher kill. And that's what I read. You know, that's what that's that's what I read about. That's what I was like, man. They just they don't think anything about life. It's just. And, but now that I'm thinking. I think all religion might have been subliminal of killing off the last species. If the last species, you would, uh, they would mimic the ways of your new ways. Say if you had something new, maybe a clothing, and they would come up and wearing the same kind of, you know, see a Neanderthal wearing, uh, uh, I don't know, khakis. You know, if there was a Neanderthal still around and all of a sudden they started wearing khakis, and he was like, yeah, man, we're khakis. And you was like, no, we invented khakis, but you're not thinking that maybe back in the days, if somebody, if they carried a bunch of pouches that dangled around their legs when they walked for saying fire starters and flints and arrowhead sparrow, so they would have carried all that instead of a backpack. Uh, they just had pouches. Who knows if they carry, you know, hunters carried spare arrowheads because, you know, if you're going hunting, you're not going to find uh, arrow tips anywhere. Now, they, you could find a branch, you could heat a branch and uh, make new arrows, but if an arrow tip breaks, you gotta, you got to go back to the source. So, maybe they had a bunch of pouches that dangled around for fire starters and flint and all that stuff. So, that, that would have been their, their meaning of, uh, yeah, we're khakis, because we, got, we used to have pockets everywhere. And you're saying, no, and not, you're not thinking of... You're not going into the depth of how all this, because they're everything before you. They're the, they would be the history, like animals of the history before humans. Nobody thinks that. Nobody thinks that there's a, they just think of animals uh, because uh, they hear religion say that uh, there's some God, which as far as I'm concerned, God is just a, pre, uh, uh, a Neanderthal or something word to cry, a criminal cries out when he's killing or raping, say, the species uh, that they created, and, and that's another thing. You're you're looking at Na Neanderthal like uh, they're stupid and uh, non-creative. Yet, just like you're making autos and computers, the computers is gonna you know it's not it's not biological gonna look at you and say uh, you're a stupid human. You can't figure you know you don't know you're not me. But it's, you're not it's doing that. It's generation gap does that. Uh, but I'm, what I'm saying is, I think religion was a speciesism that turned uh, that they uh, from trying to find out, you know, it, it, say that the word God or whatever word was used, uh, which sounds prehistoric. I mean, it doesn't. It sounds. It sounds like an old word. Of course, I'm. I don't come from the Middle East, wherever it comes from, but. It just sounds prehistoric, like something a caveman would yell out. And uh, possibly a criminal caveman that was taught a lesson by a smarter Neanderthal. And then they wanted to go out and teach somebody a lesson because they was they didn't know the meaning. They were, you know, maybe not necessarily rejected, but they were looked at down upon by the other, the other members of the tribe because they had, were corrected. Maybe they were corrected. Maybe, who, who knows for what reason? Because you, you'd have to go through every cave, or you, every Neanderthal that was corrected as to why, you know, to explain it. And I'm not going to do that. And because uh, everybody wants a million and a half years explained through a paragraph. Oh, well, you can't explain it in a paragraph. Well, religion does. Well, look how long religion took to write all that stuff, you know, thousands of years. And then all of a sudden you want somebody to just come up with a paragraph in a couple seconds. Well, you don't know anything because you, you shut up, you know. So anyway, the uh, the speciesism of religion was getting rid of the last race, and so Christianity is a cleansing. But uh, they're all based on 
stories if, uh, say, ne uh, crossbreed Neanderthals. See, and that's another thing. The education system was possibly built on uh, the reasoning behind it. It might not have been uh, uh, explained when they first started it, teaching, but uh, if they was trying to teach the last species something new and they weren't, they, the last species didn't have the ability, uh, who knows, for what, whatever reason they had a, maybe Neanderthal had a certain learning level that they couldn't reach above. And then the crossbreeds of Neanderthal that there is, I mean, there is and was and uh, throughout everybody. And uh, so to find to find the intelligence to, to, to so as to find if they were a Neanderthal or a crossbreed Neanderthal, it's almost like uh, trying to uh, uh, what is it uh, uh, discriminate? Well, it's not really discriminate. You're trying to find out their intelligence. Are they human or are they the last species? And I think that's what education has stemmed from. It's like trying to say that, well, you're not smart enough, so you're probably another species, or you're a crossbreed of Neanderthal. I'm not saying Neanderthal, but, you know, they're just, ba it's basically, nobody's saying this, but, and they're, they might not even be thinking it, it might just be something that blasts into them with an energy that forces them to be this way. And that's that energy that they don't, they don't, haven't tried to, uh, to disseminate you know, if you get a feeling run over you, do you disseminate that feeling? Or you just say, well, that's a weird feeling. Yeah, that's all you do. You don't reason out why do you feel that feeling. Because if you're getting another feeling, it's, it's, it's not coming from you. It's not emanating from you. Now, and I believe, just like I believe disease uh, is created by masses. Because I believe uh, animals are God. They created humans. Or not, you know, well, the human race. Uh, and they gave birth to them and through the thought they evolved them through the thought to the point where they breed on their own and when they start breeding on uh, when Neanderthal or whatever it was start breeding on their own hominids uh, whatever start breeding on their own they lost the truth their, their generations lost the truth of coming from animals and therefore after a while this breeding uh, this this generations down of breeding away, maybe not following animals around anymore like they may, maybe they did at first, and then as the breeding went on, they moved away from animals for whatever reason. And then uh, instead of eating fruit, they ran they they grew to a size where they ate all the food. Their, their population growth ate all the food, and they was running they were starving. And that's where. Uh, carnivores came into play and they seen the carnivores eating so they start eating rotten meat or whatever and then it was like uh, then there may be a realization that it stank compared to the flowers that they used to gather and eat the pollen and honey or whatever it's the, the rotten corpses stank and so they for whatever reason they started hunting you know whether it was uh just fallen or, you know, if they had dogs and the dogs killed and allowed them to eat the fresher meat. And so they started killing like dogs. And uh, so anyway, what I'm saying is religion, I think, is a speciesism. Just like education system is a speciesism. It's trying to, trying to discriminate against something. You know, it's like just us. You know, just all... You know, they, they, they say, but that's the, the overlying lie of they're saying, well, we're not discriminating. Well, you are, dis there is a discrimination because you can't teach everybody. You don't teach everybody. You're, uh, and not everybody needs to learn because people, uh, I don't think you should be forced to learn until you're ready to learn. When you're, when people say, uh, I, can, I can't figure this out, you know, I can't read or whatever. Say well, maybe maybe you ought to go to school and start learning. When they want to learn, they're gonna learn. It's when it's when you're forced to do something and you 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 have other stuff on your mind, you're not gonna learn. That's where the education system should be open, all the way through life, 
for you to uh, get your uh, to high school education instead of being forced to do it in a certain amount of time just because certain people have been bred to deal with that stuff in their certain time in that 18 years first 18 years they're, they're like they got the lineage that is that tell you know that has enforced in them and that and that has showed them ways to learn where these other people they're just run around crazy like you know like whatever wild animals or do or maybe they're just working labor uh learning a trade uh, maybe they're carpenters or fishermen or whatever or masons uh, whatever electric whatever whatever the trade that they're maybe they're uh, whoever they look up to or their father you know because i don't know a lot of fathers that pass down uh anything to their kids i you know it's very very seldom do i see you know unless it's maybe a beaten and then the kid goes around becomes a bully or whatever because that's that's all they've been taught and so they're just doing what their their dad's taught them you know instead of their dad teaching them something functional and the education system everything's messed up yeah that's you know and i'm i'm saying the religion is the speciesism is a is like anti uh it, there, there are racist uh, species, speciesism because they're they're against you know basically they they they've written that they're against animals, and so the only thing human is human and everything else is animal. So a Neanderthal would have been hunted down, but if Neanderthals were learning to uh, learning to speak, or the crossbreeds of Neanderthals were learning to speak. Or even if there was Neanderthal, if Jesus was the last Neanderthal, then they're and they're saying, well, if Jesus was educated. No, that's what they that's what they've interpreted. What they say is, it might be that he was a Neanderthal and they wanted to study him. So maybe it was like he went off to be studied because they wanted to study the last Neanderthal. Maybe they tried to make him uh, feel greater than everything else. And then when he said. Uh, king of the Jews, the Jews would have said no, you know, instead of saying no you're a freaking Neanderthal you're not one of us or you're not the king of us you know, you're just uh, you know, whatever they, far, you know and Jews were, were Jews uh, was there a race of people and then they just gave up on you know, maybe they killed off what they thought was Neanderthals and they left that left that uh religion away and somebody else picked up the religion just like uh like black hairs uh the the black hair what i'm considering turks they consider to be uh, uh italian you know the black hair and i'm i'm considering them to be turkish because the turks were a, a large uh conquering uh nation uh back in the day and uh in fact i think uh I don't know, there was something, there, there was some, uh, I don't know if it was, what if he's a, I don't know if he's a Mongol leader or if he's a, I can't remember his, uh, I can't remember his name, he's, he's like, he got shot in the leg with an arrow and he always had a limp, and he created, he was like, created some great mosque or, or, or some great, uh, Muslim temple, of course, Muslims only 800 years old, but anyway. But I, I do. I think religion is stemmed from uh, trying to fish out crossbreeds of like Neanderthals and stuff, as well as education was trying to, uh, you know, find out, you know, well, they, we know they can't, they they can only learn to a certain level. They can't understand, you know, there's maybe that, that that evolution is a step where understanding, which, I mean, there's people, there's people talking now about some of the stuff they're talking now is stupid as hell. And uh, I, it's not that I don't understand it, it's just stupid as hell. And they, they might be trying to say, well, we're different, we're better than you because we're saying this. And therefore, what are they going to do? Hunt us all down? Anyway. So that's the next, uh, you know, that's the next speciesism. Is they're gonna all these, all these woke are gonna hunt down all everybody else on the planet, 
kill them in a genocide while not saying there's not a genocide. And that's the whole thing of religion is, you know, dragging across the throat of a, you know, to make something kosher is, I think, a subliminal way that was was uh, already happening. How to kill, uh, like, how to kill Neanderthals uh, maybe quietly or lead them into traps, lead them into educational traps where you could where you could then uh, discriminate against them, but not you maybe maybe not completely discriminate against them, but uh, slowly push them away from society so that you could cleanse society and not have you know the last species hanging around. So now they're everybody's looking. You know this is so ingrained. I mean, if you go back, you go back three hundred thousand years, and this has been happening three hundred thousand years. This is pretty well ingrained in your in your uh, process without you even thinking about it it's just going to be maybe an energy that you're already born with maybe that's maybe that's uh, you know the energy that surrounds you you'd call a soul i i call a soul is what you're basically uh you're born to uh your path you're born to do say maybe you're born to you know people are they got a lot of stuff going on them going good for them to be concrete workers or something you know whatever but uh, I think all I think all this stuff like education and religion is all like speciesism, is to discriminate and to define lesser uh, species, and so everybody that is uh, you know that claiming a higher education is basically racist. Everybody that's claiming to be highly religious. Is racist. All this, all this stuff is. Uh, but I'm not saying that there's not racists that are uneducated and unreligious. But I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know any KKK people or anything like that. Or I, you know, I, I met one. Uh, what do they call him? Uh, white, uh, not white supremacist, neo-Nazi. But he was, they was getting away from it or something. I don't know. I, I just talked to him for a couple minutes. But I don't really, I didn't know him. He just talking some stuff. But uh, that was 25 years ago or something like that. Anyway, but I do. I think that you know, and and there's, there's others. You know, education it goes into what science and all this other stuff that's uh, that's uh, eliminating people. You know, not to say that there's not a person out there with a great idea that might just have a participle of an idea that would help but these people are like well no we they're basically all these things are uh habit education is habit uh, the, the habit of studying the habit of uh but they they're born with these their lineage is basically creates that habit in them where these people out here that uh they would claim to be lesser because they're not as educated they're not religious or whatever would might have a piece to the puzzle that they're trying to put together, but they won't allow it in. They'll allow it in, but they're not going to give them any credit, even though that piece is like a missing link to their puzzle, <coughs> to their puzzle of uh, putting everything together. So uh, that's what I think. Uh, all this, all this stuff is uh, basically racism and, and, and politics. Politics, of course, if you're not in the club of politics, you're not going to get elected for anything. You know, you might you might make ombudsman, but they're going to fish you out just like everything else. You know, run you through the run you through the the process and see if you're if you're made or something that they can control or were conformed to their measures of and rules. Which basically, I'm totally against anymore. I. I it, the more I go, the more they go on, the more I despise government. I'm not saying our government. I'm saying government, you know, just government. Uh, I don't believe, I don't believe this planet needs it. I think it's it, all these groups like religion, education, government. All these groups have been popularists, people that are popular. You know, they they can be wrong, but all these people that gather around them 
are going to say, oh, no, he's right. No matter, and they'll, they'll still push that, whatever it is they, they did wrong, through. And this whole group of people that are populars will just continue to move down and create more belief that's based on something wrong. You know, you just because you're popular, don't make you right. And that's all we're, you know, that's all we've been electing in government is popular people. And that's what leaders have become is popular I mean, unless unless it was great, in, you know, George Washington was supposedly great in, at war or something like that. Like Eisenhower was great at war, and he was he didn't even have to run. They actually they actually campaigned for him, and he didn't even. I think in the last cup few eight six eight months of the campaign that he just actually went out and spoke at a couple places. Uh, only because I don't I can't remember I was reading something on him, but. He would, he didn't even run for basically they they put him in for it, and he was like, eh, well you know if if you're gonna do it I'm not gonna I'm not he was like I'm not gonna campaign, and he got elected what two terms, <clears throat> and uh, anyway, uh, that's what I was just saying that I think all this religion, and all this stuff is uh, basically, we're subliminally discriminating against uh people that aren't of the group now i don't i discriminate against everybody because i don't want i don't i'm i'm tired of dealing with all the bullshit that people try to dish out you know their their first impressions or whatever oh you're gonna like me and i don't i just it's not i don't have a wall of hate but i have a wall you know it'd be nice if it was i don't know I don't know what it is, but I just I'm just so turned off by everything anymore that people just try to lie to you. Just just freaking bold face. Bold face lie to you. Lie to your face. Lie about everything. Everything it's almost like they come up to you and oh this is a guy we lie to. You know. So that's where I'm at. You know, I, I still you know, get a I can get along, but it's other people that they they try to create a popularism within them, within their groups, or try to build their group bigger, and that's how uh, you know I, I don't I don't go along with anybody that's just popular. Just wants I just, I just never understood that. I can understand somebody that's right. You you go you look around try to find somebody that's right. That that you know that it's even try to find somebody that's right that's popular. Now you might believe they're right because they got it's the popular flow goes right through you, and you, and they're they're all thinking well he's right and you you just you just you're flushed with that well he's you know that's right as rain, but if you let if you let all that flow go and you just let it go out just like a flood, like a Egyptian uh what do they call it in uh what do they call it when they had a flood in Egypt it was uh. Used to flood the land, and then they, after the flood, they'd start farming again. And then they had canals and everything. But anyway, and then, uh, oh damn, I can't, I can't remember the word. I think it starts with knee. But anyway, it's like you get, you get hit with this popularism. Uh, you know, it's all these words that you believe are yours because they're in your head. And that's what the problem with people is they think, well, there's thoughts in my head are mine because they're in my head. So everything in my head is mine. And that's not how light. That's not what it is. If you if you if you ever heard uh, herds and birds and fish fish all react boom they react and it's like almost like they're linked together like twins they think together and that's what people flow to is what they're like and so they can react to what they're like and people are like oh you know after a while if and there's enough if there's enough people that flow through you and uh, they get you to believe you're smart and you get you to believe your pocket. whatever they want you to get you to believe they can if there's enough of them flowing through you and you're believing that it's your thought you know they might say something and then they're you know what trigger they know it triggers a flow it's it really it's complicated but nobody uh nobody explains this because they don't want it figured out because then they lose control then they're their popularism or whatever it is that they claim that they're right by which very seldom is anybody right. So that's where I'm going to leave this this video at. 
I don't even know what I'm going to title it. Uh, the uh, maybe the history of racism in education, religion, and popularism. <laughs>